What's up, guys? Isaac Rose. <laughs> Isaac Rosell. No, I'm just saying you hate when I do the what's up, guys. Listen, no, I don't have an intro. No, the no, point is. No, 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 no. This is my girlfriend. No, I'm no, Isaac wait. Rochelle. How to say what's up? And we no, are about to no. make. What's up, guys? Isaac Rochelle here with my girlfriend. What's up, guys? Her name is Allison. <laughs> we are sitting here in the Sprouts parking lot because boys are about to make dinner tonight. Mm -hmm. And this is going to be a little bit of a quarantine dinner. We've been what? Plant based? We've been plant based for as long as we've been in a quarantine. You just start to run out of things to do, so you start getting creative, you start eating plant-based. You may not be doing that before, but you're doing it now. Mm -hmm. So we're going to go in here. Tonight on the menu is some plant-based burgers and some french fries. Whatever that means, plant-based burgers. We'll see. Y'all will find out. Join yeah. us. I don't even know if these are buns that you really make burgers with, but we'll use them. I need to get more quarantine situation. <laughs> Isaac's got his buns over here, but I'm gluten free, so we're gonna get some lettuce for lettuce wrapped burgers. Look at those weak lettuce wrapped burgers. We usually use Roma tomatoes, but we're gonna get the bigger boys. But you want a big, juicy tomato when you're making a burger. Get like three, why maybe are two. These, why are these wet? Yeah. <laughs> we eat these burgers, we put a jalapeno on. I feel like we should just put them directly in the burger. Jalapenos? Yeah. That sounds a little spicy. Literally jalapenos, sweet baby rays, and diced up onions. Going crazy. What we got, Miguel? Potatoes for them French fries. Gotta get the French fries. Russets only. Red you potatoes, Yukons out the window. Do only russets. I don't know, I love French fries. There's no way we eat all those, but we'll get them. I think we need we'll more. Them. No way. Okay, we're good. These have nine grams of protein per roll. You gotta sanitize on the way out, too. You need some, too, Al. Okay, Don't give me. Twi <laughs> Don't get it twisted. You need some, too. Just got back to the crib. Oh, Frankie. Frankie, you need that to go out. Frank the tank. Frank the tank. Gotta take the pup out. Gotta love the pups. Frankie, come here. <gasps> Frankie. <laughs> Frankie, are you having burgers tonight? No, you're having dog food. Let's go. What's the good with you laying in the kitchen like that? What are you doing, Frankie? Frankie, you might have to get out of the way. She's a beast. All right, let's show everybody what we got. First, we gotta wash our hands. You can't show them the dirty dishes in the sink. Dirty dish game. Like, all right, so we have all the groceries laid out. Well, there's three ingredients right there, but we do have all of the groceries out and we're ready to start cooking. Uh, but Isaac and I have been talking for the last 10 minutes about how to defrost this plant-based meat. The harder, listen, <laughs> we've been back at the crib for 10 minutes, got everything unloaded, took Frankie to use the bathroom. Boys were all ready to go. And the hardest part of the entire night is figuring out how to get these dang burgers defrosted. So, if you guys have some suggestions, even though you literally can't tell us right now how to defrost <laughs> these, that'd be great. Isaac. This is literally what I do. Stop eating, though. Y'all wanted to know the meal with Isaac. I literally eat half the meal when I'm making food. That's not even part of the meal. There's just chips. The boys are hungry, though. I can't wait for these boys to defrost. That could be days. Oh, God. So this is what we're going to do. we got Ziploc bags, and we're going to put the meat in a Ziploc bag and then put it in warm water. Accelerated Simple. defrosting. So these are, can you just show them the plant-based patties? Looks like meat, huh? I'll say this though, the vegan people won't tell you this. It's good, but it does not taste like ground beef. Now you're coming at the vegan people, I I'm just saying, like, it's just like anything. They'll hype it up. I don't think it tastes just like ground beef, but it's pretty good. Y'all will see the final product. All right, guys, so we are back at the crib. You are in Ike's kitchen and Al. Allie's kitchen. And Al. Mm -hmm. So we're going to get everything going, but before I start doing anything, I always throw the skillet in the oven. The reason I do that is because if I ever am cooking meat or plant-based meat, <laughs> I throw it in there so I can get a nice sear on each side when it cooks. And it never fails to let the fire alarm go off every single time. We'll see if the fire alarm goes off. So you guys can just follow us. We got the jalapenos, tomatoes, potatoes, onions, lettuce, rolls. <laughs> Greens, beans, potatoes, tomatoes, we got, onions. We got it all. So it should be a nice little meal. All right, be careful see. with those knives though. First thing we should do is get the potatoes. Boy, those boys need to be watched. I wonder how many uh, french fries all of these potatoes will make. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Did you get any potatoes for yourself? Oh, so you're gonna eat seven? We're not making all those potatoes. We're definitely making all those potatoes. Allie, that would be equivalent to me eating three and a half potatoes. That's savage. I would gladly eat three and a half potatoes. French fries are its own food group. You want me to chop those up? Because I think you you might be stroked. <laughs> no, 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 no. I got it. Another thing that Allie always does is she uses the little bitty knives. Like if I'm cutting up veggies, I want the big boy. That's a good solid French fry, right? Oh god. No. Allie, you should definitely let me. No, 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 no. I got it. I got it. I got it. <laughs> 
Let me show them. <laughs> and look at just the size difference. You can't even see that one on the camera. Cause one's gonna be a little bit more crispy. Okay, so like this size? Are we doing like steak fries? Just standard fries. Your standard, I'm at Wendy's, I'm crushing fries. What is your favorite fry? Favorite french fry, definitely McDonald's. McDonald's french fries all the way. McDonald's french fries with in and out sauce. I don't know how much of this. Question of the day, what's your favorite french fry? McDonald's, Wendy's, Burger King, in and out So here's what I'm doing. I'm gonna slice these up because I wanna be able to put these boys in the fridge and to cool. When I'm eating my burger, I want a crisp, cold tomato. Are you eating a tomato right now? Isaac, don't eat the ingredients. All right, those boys are chilling. Gotta slice up the onions. I don't think we should saute the onions. I think we should just have them. We have to saute the peppers because it's gonna be way too spicy. I think we should put them in the burger, but that's just me. Sounds like a subtweet, Isaac. One thing we always do when we cook too is if we go get groceries, we groceries. <laughs> if we go get groceries, we keep a bag to put trash in. It's always just easy to clean up afterwards. So Fun little tip. Use your recyclable bags to throw away trash. Yeah, I mean, it's the best way to do it. <laughs> Okay, just get these boys nice and diced up. Ali and I both, and these are gonna, oh my gosh. These are gonna go in the fridge with the tomatoes. Are you crying? Yeah. Don't cry, I'm right here. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my god, you're dropping onions on the floor. You and I do a really good job of reusing our onions. So if you only use half the onion, that's a fact sure, they don't care about. Make sure you put that boy in a ziploc. I know this is. I don't, listen, maybe they do, maybe they don't. We save our onions. You should too. So with our potatoes, they're all sliced up. Throw them in there. When you're frying in the air fryer, usually you want to use a oil that is like better for frying canola, vegetable. What we do is we use avocado oil because it's got a high burning temp. It's gonna be good in the air fryer. It sounds like I know what I'm talking about. I really don't. I it's see, it one, sounds like it's one of two oils that we had, so we're using it. I will say this. I'm we, waiting. We always use this, the Tony Saturated. This is the all-purpose seasoning, and this is the true if you know, you know, but we're out of it because we use it on everything. So is, are we out of it? We're gonna move to the next best thing, which is just straight up Lowry's. Uh, uh, uh. Yeah, yeah. I don't think that's gonna be enough. I think, this, enough. I think this is gonna be a lot of potatoes. Oh, so you're gonna eat seven? Yeah. We're not making all those potatoes. We're definitely making all those potatoes. <laughs> so keep in mind, we got our uh, Beyond Meat Burgers going. <laughs> in plastic bags. And keep in mind, we got the skillet in the oven ready to go. Do we wanna, you said you wanna saute the jalapeno? Yeah. We'll saute them up. Cause sauteing jalapenos takes away a little of the heat. I'm just not trying to eat, I dare you to eat a piece of jalapeno right now. I'm not, cause it'll ruin this whole video. Cause I'm gonna be hurting the whole time. But what you won't, you're like, yeah, you're right, I won't. We should get those in the, in the air fryer. So just do a little bit of this, you don't gotta go crazy. There you go. I actually like potatoes that are uncooked too. Another, we, we are so bad about cleaning our air fryer out. No, you're so bad. You use it. I really want to eat one. I love tasty. You want to eat one cooked or by No, itself? raw. I'll eat one if you want. <laughs> okay. Oh, the jalapenos? I'll eat a jalapeno. Oh, boy's got a kick to them for sure. <clears throat> Those boys are spicy. <clears throat> All right, so these are just going in the air fryer. So, little air fryer technique. Um, I really do like them. Um, you wanna you wanna throw them in there and, and cook them, but you always wanna kind of take them out and kind of move them around, like make sure they're all getting to even cook. Throw them in there. Air fryer's already got the French fry setting. Those are good to go. They'll be done in 20 minutes. You'll see me periodically shaking them, getting them going. Should we saute onions with those? I think yes. it'd be a good little. Just a, few, like a small amount of onions, yeah. I want a classic your classic burger with crunchy onions, crunchy crisp tomatoes. Okay, we'll get these out. You got your Beyond Meat patties. Oh my God, there's a spider, there's a spider, there's a spider, get it off, get it off. Where'd that come I just from? killed it, I don't know. That makes me question everything about this meal. <laughs> At what point do we quit this and then just order Postmates? <laughs> Supporting small businesses through Postmates. I'm trying to think. Those have 20 minutes. You can go ahead and start. So you want me to do that right now? No, I'll do it. Don't okay. use that pan and use this one. Why? Because the handle's broken. It's not broken. I mean, that's the definition of broken. Yeah, just tighten it up. You want to use this little guy for those? Oh, no, that's a cute. Okay. 
Thank you. Okay. I'm gonna saute up these jalapenos so they're not so spicy. A little olive oil. Oh, here. Well, usually we use this. It's a vegan butter. <laughs> we usually use a little earth balance. It tastes just like normal butter. Throw a little bit in there. Definitely gonna wash this. Y'all are just hanging out over there. Let me get y'all a little bit closer to the action. Okay, so, so I'm Alex cutting up the lettuce some... for my bun. You also, but you gotta realize, like, I want some lettuce on my burger, though. Okay. Well, we, I mean, we have an entire head of lettuce, so we definitely can make that happen. And then we got this going. A little slight saute. I can't do the flip with my right left hand. Air fried potatoes going. Got about 15 minutes left. So you want to make sure to keep the seeds in, but when you saute them, saute them high at first and then just let those boys go on low. That'll get all the heat out, but the seeds will keep it a little bit spicy. But if you cook them too fast and then throw them on your burger, your mouth's gonna be on fire. This is not part of the dinner you eat in this little side meal. We did not plan any appetizers. I'm way too hungry, I can't wait. So I'm cutting up these buns. These are eventually gonna be put on the skillet and get, you know, you get them crispy before you eat them. Before we do that, we're gonna go ahead and season these Beyond Meat patties. So get your paper plate, because we are all about sustainability. Isaac, use a regular plate. It can be, oh yeah, that would be more sustainable, right? <laughs> I'm gonna pretend you didn't say that and grab plate. Get your Beyond Meat that you've been defrosting. In plastic Ziploc bags. So the texture is definitely, oh, that one fell apart. <laughs> texture, <laughs> texture is definitely a little bit different. <laughs> this looks nastier than it is. Here, go ahead and you might have to redo this because this is not looking good. Nope, this is all real. Coming in the uh, spice cabinet is always kind of an issue for me, especially now because like I said earlier in the video, I use Tony Satri's on everything. So we're gonna have to do Lari's again. I don't hate it, but I don't love it. So we'll just keep this simple. A Little bit of that, I don't need to go crazy. And then what I always do is I'll put that side down first and then I'll season the other side when it's when it sizzling. Oh my God, I ate one of these and my mouth is burning. Is that why you turn it back on high? So if you cook it down, they're gonna end up being mushy and not spicy. I'm not being dramatic, my mouth is on fire right now. Those were like less spicy when they were uncooked. All right, here we go. Show them this up close. Boys are starting to get spicy. I mean, not spicy, but <laughs> crispy and spicy. Boy, you got peppers on your mind. Oh my gosh. <laughs> so you want to turn the heat on high. Again, avocado oil, because it's got a higher burning temp. Mm. See how hot it is? Definitely fire alarm. You guys aren't going to be able to hear me, because we got to make sure to turn that on. And you're, you're just going to one by one. Go those boys on. Okay, so then like I said, when it's face down, it's my sink is building up. It was already built up in the first place. Hit the other side, uh, yeah. Honestly, Isaac, it looks like you're doing all of the work. Which represents what it usually looks like. I Isaac honestly does probably like 90% of the cooking in our relationship, and I think it's just because he enjoys it more than I enjoy it. No doubt, I love cooking. So you're gonna let these chill for a little bit. Again, make sure your heat is on high. Keep in mind you still got these and they need to be toasted. Also, don't forget you got your French fries. <laughs> So we have the second skillet going in the oven. Ooh, Frankie, no, 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 no. And this skillet was strictly there to get these buns toasted. Put that on high, olive oil. And then you're just gonna toss these directly on there. We'll go one at a time, one set at a time. All right, so I put on my burger. Toasted the buns, as you can see. Ketchup, jalapeno, tomato, the Beyond Meat patty. I put mayonnaise, again, plant-based, not vegan. We do a lot of plant-based foods, but we're not completely vegan. Do some onions, do some lettuce. Allie got us plenty of lettuce sliced up. Full head of lettuce. Plenty of lettuce, throw that on there. So there you have it, folks. Take a bite, take a bite. Well, tell them what you got first. Okay. I can't have gluten, unfortunately, and I also can't have dairy. So what we got is the plant-based burger patty. We got onion, tomato, mustard, ketchup, mayonnaise, lettuce, and then we're gonna top it off with some more lettuce. Unfortunately, we tell can't. Them about, tell them about the crisscross technique you got going with the ketchup <laughs> mustard. You know, I'm just trying to make it aesthetically pleasing. You know, if it looks good, you feel good. Mine looks flat. It's definitely not a McDonald's. That looks like a 
a submarine. Burger King commercial. There's a there's a patty in there somewhere. Social distancing between your buns. <laughs> <laughs> you see it in there. It's in there. All right, I'll take a I'll take a bite real quick. You already know I gotta cut it in half. Give them give them the half. The cross. Ooh. Okay. That boy's smacking. Can you talk? <laughs> you smacking. waited five minutes. I'll say this, the bun definitely made it. So you're saying mine isn't gonna taste the same? It might not. <laughs> the Beyond Meat patty's not life changing. So it doesn't taste like a burger, it's good. The texture's there, jalapenos gave a nice kick to it. I'm pleased, it was a one. Al, go ahead and taste yours. Hold on, let me go on to the other side because I wanna taste the french fries too. So, all of these french fries are for me. It's never easy eating a, a lettuce wrapped burger so you always gotta roll up your sleeves. It's a little flat. <laughs> a little more flat than Isaac's. Here we go. Get in there. <laughs> <Yeah>. oh, <good. laughs> it tastes like In and Out. Whoa! You don't mean that. Hold on, we gotta we gotta taste the fries. Already had one. The fries are good. In and Out fries. Got some French fries for the outro. The fries are going <laughs> she, crazy. She wants a French fry. All right, give her one. Oh, avocado oil. Dogs can't have avocados. Now you know that, but thanks for watching us make our food during the uh, shelter in place. Our thing is, everybody should be doing their part. For us, it was cooking food at home she and just sheltering in place. So you guys need to be doing that too. I think it'll really help stop the spread of this. Mm -hmm. But more than anything, I hope you enjoyed watching us cook. Talk to us, Al. If you guys wanna see more videos like this, definitely go and check out my channel, Allison K on YouTube. Uh, we do a lot of videos, some fun challenges. Other than that, I hope you enjoyed hanging out with us tonight. That's pretty much it. All right, bolt up. What's happening, Chargers fans? If you guys want to see some more, click right here. Check it out. It's pretty simple. Right here. Check it out.